This question is about waves, and more specifically, it's about Malice's law. So what you're told here, we have a polarizer, and that's something that only lets light through of a certain orientation. Remember uh, about polarization, that light itself has lots of different orientations for it, okay? So um, it can it can oscillate in a lot of different ways. For example, light's uh, electric field might oscillate you know, vertically, and then that means that it's a magnetic field would oscillate um, horizontally because they're transverse. You know, so we can sort of draw sort of you know, something like this and then something like this. This is how it's often drawn. I think it's just really hard to imagine this. This is supposed to be in 3D. So you have to imagine that light. This could be like the random axis of polarization. So light might be polarized horizontally, might be vertically, might be anything in the middle. It could be any angle. And each photon comes in, uh, it's going to be unpolarized, which means when they come in, their axis of um, oscillation is going to be random. So maybe you have one um, photon that comes in, maybe it's uh, oscillating in a way so it's polarized uh, vertically. Next one might be horizontal, next one might be at 45 degrees or whatever. So coming in, this green is going to represent the polarization um, axis, you could say. Now, let's assume that we have uh, these polarizers. Their job, what a polarizer actually does, is um, it only lets through light of that axis. Now, it's, it's not that it only lets through light, it's that it only lets through light uh, component of that. Which means like, you know, what if you had some uh, light of polarization, you know, at 45 degrees, it would still let in some of it. Now we're told that initially these two polarizers, because we have two of them, we're told that they initially have uh, the same polarization angle. So what this really means for us, let me just see here if I can go like this. Let me just paste here and see if it works. Yeah. So what happens is this. Initially then, uh, this polarizer is hor uh, vertically polarized, let's just say, and so is this. Let's just pretend that those are vertical. They didn't tell us they had to be, but they just say they were initially parallel. So these two are parallel, let's just say. Now they say the second one remains the same. The first one, however, you rotate it. So what happens then is that you take this one right here and let's see if I can change that. Yeah, I guess. So now, for example, maybe you make it like this. So what that means is that the light that comes in, it's only going to let in a uh, a portion of it that's at this axis. So that means if it makes any sense, there'll be less light will come out of this, this first one here. This is polarizer number one. Um, and over here, then this next one here will be polarizer number two. We have an equation that governs this. In case you ever needed to mathematically quantify this, it says that I equals I zero cos squared theta. This is actually what Malice's law is. That's this one. What it says is that the initial intensity of the light, so coming in, let's just assume that what's coming in here, we'll call that uh, I zero, that's the initial intensity, and I is going to be the intensity that leaves, that's the intensity that goes out, that's you know, exiting this. So let's see what happens here. The question wants to know what happens with the intensity and the polarization of the outgoing light. If you think about the polarization angle of it, if this one right here always stays vertical, that means you're only gonna have vertically polarized light come out of it. Does that make any sense to you? So only vertically polarized light will come out of it. No matter what you rotate this thing, no matter how you change this axis, you're still gonna have vertical polarized light coming out. So here, this polarization, um, that's going to be the same. That's gonna be the same, that's not gonna change. So you need to look through your different choices and you can cancel out uh, B and D for that. Now the intensity itself, remember, the, as you change this angle, the intensity will clearly change, right? And they notice they told you something about 90 degrees, that they said that to the angle is less than 90. That's because if it is equal to 90, think about this, then it's horizontal, let's just say in this case, that's the angle, by the way, theta is the angle between these two polarizer angles. So uh, axes, for example, this is vertical. If this one here has been rotated to left by 45 degrees, then theta is 45. If you make theta 90, Cosine of 90 is zero, so nothing would come out. Hopefully that makes sense, because the only light that would come out of a horizontally polarized, you know, horizontal polarizer is horizontally polarized. And there's no component of that that is vertical, so that's why nothing would come out here. So in this case, they're asking, like, as you rotate this thing, what happens to the intensity of the light? Well, it'll change. Does that make sense? It'll be different. 
It'll be different based on that equation, in fact. I've seen lots of examples where you have to actually put math to it. In this case right here, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, they weren't actually being so, so sneaky. So that's actually the answer is A. A, where the intensity is different and the polarization is the same.